Hello everyone, my name is Steve Power, and I live in China. So, I know what you might be thinking. Steve, you've been in China for quite some time now, haven't you? And to you I say, well, I've been here for 323 days, and I've got about 132 days left. So that means I'm around 70.989% done my contract, yeah. But, who's counting? Me. Me. I'm counting. That's not to say that I am not really enjoying my time here in China. I am absolutely loving it. It's definitely the best choice I've made in my life to come to China and teach and do something absolutely crazy. The feeling of being on my own, meaning that all of my successes are due to me and me alone, and that I am in control of everything that happens in my life, is really cool. It feels like being an adult. I guess I am an adult now. With an adult beard. Huh! You might be thinking, Steve, you're looking a little bit more hip than usual. And to you I say, not everyone that has a beard and a flat cap is a hipster. Come on, that's a really broad definition. Maybe you should work on your vocabulary, friend. But hey, whatever works. Since it's really hard to keep everyone up to date on an individual basis, I figured I'd make a video that people could watch and just see how I'm doing. I got the idea from Susan, and you can see her video right here. I'll also put an annotation down there in the comments. I think that's still how YouTube works. Is this YouTube or is this Facebook? I don't know, I'll figure it out. So here are a few general things about China that I think are either really, really great, or really, really interesting, or really, really terrible. One thing I've discovered about myself is that I really like teaching, and I think I might be kind of good at it. One thing that makes teaching easy for me is that when I got here, I thought that it would be very formal. I thought the Chinese children would be very, you know, civilized and ready to learn and sit at their desks in their uniforms and write notes. That's not how it is. Not even close. I am basically a clown. I am a clown that speaks English, and that's what they want. We play games, we toss around a ball, we sing songs, we dance. I do more dancing now than ever before, and it's great. On the other hand, something that I don't really like about China is the air. The air sucks. There's so much pollution here. And when I say the air is terrible, I mean really terrible. There have been days when we are literally told not to go outside because it would be very unhealthy. The water is kind of the same story as well because you can't drink it, ever. So you just gotta boil it. We find ways to get by. We're survivors here. To go back to the positives, China is gorgeous. So beautiful. The buildings alone are incredible. I mean, I'm from Newfoundland, where the largest building is like 11 stories high. Here, I'm on the 8th floor already, in a 32 floor building. And this isn't even a big building. There's one right next door that is 64 floors. Now that is a tall, tall building. And a lot of the buildings have flashing lights, and there are light shows, and there's moving pictures. Sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming, but then when you go outside of the city, it's even better. There's so many mountains, and forests, and lakes and beaches. I was on a stone beach in Dalian that seemed like it could have been from Newfoundland. It really made me feel like I was at home. And this, the nostalgia pain hit me right here, but I got over it. We're survivors. The people that I've met here have been absolutely great. The Chinese people that I meet are very different and very cool and interesting. I've met a lot of English people, Canadians. There are a couple Canadians here. There are a few Canadians here and I searched them out. And even the Americans are okay. Now, one of my absolute favorite parts of the Chinese experience so far has been drinking. And don't read too far into what that says about me as a person. First and foremost, the beer here in China is super cheap. I got a 24 case right there for the equivalent of $11. That's some good math right there. That's a very good deal. It's a little weaker. Chinese beers usually go between 3% and 4.5%. I think 4.5% is really strong. So, you just gotta drink a lot of them. Which is okay. Because you can drink anywhere. Literally, drinking anywhere is legal. On the street, anywhere in public, in a cab, on the subway. I wouldn't recommend drinking on the subway, but you can do it. There's a lot more that I want to talk about, but I realize that we're running a little bit long already, so I'll save it for next time. 
I want to talk about my tattoo, which is cool that I got here in China and is really interesting, and all the traveling that I've been doing inside and outside of China. There's just so much that I need to do. But, again, I'll save it for 2015. I'll either see you here online, or I'll see you in person, because I'm coming home, baby. Only 132 days left, and I'll be there. It was really great doing this, it was really fun. I miss making videos like this. I used to do it all the time, and I want to do it again. Thanks to Susan so much for the inspiration. Again, her videos are really great. If you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Facebook, but I can't get on that all the time because it's China, so it's blocked. I'm here on YouTube, same story, kind of blocked. But you can get me on Skype, I'll include my Skype name. You can find me on WeChat, which is a great app we have here in China. Or, you know, maybe I'll just see you at home. So, I guess this means bye-bye. Or, as we say in China, bye-bye. Yeah, it's used in both languages interchangeably. Anyway, see you. One, two, three, well, I've been here for 320...